Heroin is hot. Heroin is cool. Heroin rocks. Need a little ew. Heroin is sweeping the nation, and so are ODs, which inevitably happens when you do heroin. It's Russian roulette. It's not like Coke. People don't die from Coke. They don't die from pot or PCP or acid. I have seen a couple guys go crazy from acid, but that took a lot. Heroin. And we're not hearing about it on the news. I suspect because Big Pharma is such a big advertiser of mainstream news and in companies such as Purdue who make OxyContin. Uh, don't like the bad publicity, but Big Pharma is responsible for this epidemic. Big Pharma and illegal immigration. It's the illegal immigrants that are bringing the heroin to the suburbs and you're out killing your daughter and your friend and your plumber. But uh, how did they get addicted in the first place? Well, they hurt their back. They take some oxys. These are expensive. They get addicted. It's a, the most addictive drug on earth. Oxy is heroin. Heroin is just shitty oxy, really. And eventually they hear about a cheaper version of Oxy called heroin, become addicted to it. Now, I've seen this happen quite a bit. Coming from a punky background, uh, I've seen, I think my total is 12 friends and acquaintances died. Buddy just died the other day. Uh, I hadn't seen him in a long time because heroin sort of, it's like a Rasputin. It sits on your shoulder and it says, get away from anyone who doesn't like me. And so a lot of the times when these junkies die, they die, uh, they, they've already been dead in many ways. Um, and a lot of them die from beer. I'll get to that in a second. I think the perfect example of heroin and the way it works is Who Killed Nancy? The story behind Nancy Spungen and Sid Vicious. So the Sex Pistols started out in 77. Fun, kooky band. They worked at a fashion store. They were, they were living the life. They were silly. They were having fun. Sid Vicious was the son of some single hippie mom, and he was sexy, and everyone loved him, and he'd hang out with all the different gangs. There was a Bromley contingent with Billy Idol and Susie Sue having fun. Of course, Bromley is now breeding the suicide bomber, Richard Reed. But um, rebellions changed quite a bit in Britain recently. <laughs> but... Uh, <clears throat> You have, uh, you have this fun group. New York, however, had been taken over by the plague of heroin. And you had Johnny Thunders and all these bands. Black leather was big. Darkness. And when you started seeing punks wearing black leather, it was because the Sex Pistols had come to New York and they were hanging out with Thunders and they were doing, Sid was, doing heroin. So he meets up with this other junkie named Nancy Spungen. And uh, this story isn't in the movies. I don't know why it's out. Everyone in New York, everyone in the scene knows this story. They had tons of money. Sid Vicious had a pile of money. He's living at the Chelsea Hotel. Him and Nancy had a ton of smack. And uh, two criminals heard about this. It's some black dude whose name I can't get because no one snitches in New York. But because Rocket's Red Glare is already dead, they tell me his name. So it's Rocket's Red Glare and this black dude Go over there. Now, Rocket's Red Glare is one of the most disgusting people alive. He was born on heroin. <laughs> his mother was a junkie. He was born high on heroin. Was a junkie his whole life. Big, disgusting, fat pig. Steve Buscemi was friends with him. They did stand-up. Um, he was an actor in movies, too. But he's also a brutal junkie 100% of his life. 100% of his life, this guy was on smack. Anyway, hey, I hear that uh, Nancy and Sid got some stuff. So they go over there. Yeah, we go. The way you do Sid Vicious, by the way, is you exhale. Yeah, I got a bit of dope. Come on in. So they come in, they do a bit of dope. And then they go, Nancy and Sid pass out, of course. Fun drug, by the way. Let's go to a sleeping party. And uh, they go, Rockets and the black guy go, let's take all their shit. So they start taking their smack and their money. And Nancy wakes up and goes, hey, what the fuck are you guys doing? And so they grab Sid's knife and just go, Pfft. Stab her and go, get, get the fuck out of here. They run away. And then Sid wakes up. Oh, have I done? I killed Nancy. I stabbed my Nancy. No. And he gets uh, very depressed. Now, this is a big way junkies die. I'm going, kind of going off at a tangent here. The purpose of this video is to say heroin is, is bad for you. The uh, hook is who killed Nancy. But here's a little tangent on how people die of heroin. People die of heroin from Budweiser. Sorry, Bud, but it's your fault. <laughs> what happens is they get clean. And they've been doing lines or shooting up, however they do it. And their tolerance is this high. $350 a day is, an, is a typical habit. 
Uh, not a typical habit, but that's as bad as it gets. So the, it's at that level. Then they get clean. They go to rehab. They come back. They go, I don't do heroin anymore, but I'll have a beer. They have a beer. They have two beers. They have three beers, four or five. Then they order Coke. And let's get some smack. <laughs> Why not? I'll do a bit. And then they get the heroin, and they do the level that they were doing back in their heyday. But their body's tolerance is gone. And this is what happened to Sid. He was in jail for, I think, a month and a half, uh, two months. And his tolerance was down to nothing. They have a big party for him. He was in jail for, he was accused of killing Nancy because in a drunken stupor, he, he sort of confessed. And uh, he did smack a big, huge dose, probably a giant bump, or maybe he even shot it, and died. That night his mother discovered him. So why am I telling you all this? Well, one is juicy gossip that I know how Nancy died and no one else seems to know. And two... Now that heroin is big, I want you to know I've been there. It is a death sentence. If your daughter is acting sleepy, if you're noticing painkillers are gone from your medicine cabinet, that's not truancy. That's not rude. That's not mischievous. That is a death sentence. Jungle juice is mischievous. If they break into your liquor cabinet and they make a jar of gin, vodka, and whiskey, remember those days? Blah. That's rude. That's naughty. Oxycontin is different. Oxycontin is a one-way ticket to heroin, and heroin, even if you quit, often because you quit, is a one-way ticket to death. Trust me, I'm punk. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Please subscribe to Rebel Edge.